If you're an avid college football fan, you'll probably recognize the name Clay Helton, but most people don't know what has happened since he was fired at USC. In order to fully appreciate what he's currently doing, we need to back up and tell the full story. Clay Helton was born in Gainesville, Florida in 1972. He is the son of longtime coach Kim Helton, who performed a number of coaching roles on both college and NFL staffs. Kim Helton was also the head coach of the University of Houston Cougars from 1993 to 1999. Clay Helton would go on to play college football as backup quarterback for both Auburn and for his dad at Houston. He wouldn't see a lot of playing time at Auburn or Houston, but was able to take what he learned and turn it into a coaching career. After college, Clay went into coaching with various roles on the offensive side of the game. He has coached at a number of different schools, including Duke, Houston, Memphis, USC, and currently as head coach of Georgia Southern. In 2010, Helton was hired by USC to be the quarterback coach by Lane Kiffin. In 2013, he was promoted to offensive coordinator at USC. Helton served as interim head coach after multiple firings at USC, but in 2015, he finally got the nod. Clay Helton was now the head coach of the University of Southern California in sunny LA, one of the largest college football programs in the nation, with some of the highest expectations in the country. Clay Helton had a 46-24 overall record as head coach of USC, that's a 65.7% winning percentage including a Rose Bowl win in 2016 and a Pac-12 title in 2017. But by 2021, the powers that be at USC had decided that after a 1-1 one -one start to the season, that they were going to make a change at head coach. So Helton was out of a job, but Jared Binko, the athletic director of Georgia Southern, decided to throw a Hail Mary. Georgia Southern was a football powerhouse that had moved up to Division I FBS in 2014. They played in the Sun Belt Conference, which is arguably the toughest group of five conference in all of Division I FBS. Georgia Southern was looking to get back on track following the firing of Chad Lunsford in 2021. And with new teams set to join the league in 2022, the Sun Belt East was only going to get tougher. Georgia Southern would now have to face James Madison, Marshall, App State, and Coastal Carolina every year. Before the 2021 season had come to a close, Georgia Southern Athletic Director Jared Binko had managed to sign Clay Helton, former USC coach, to become the next head coach of Georgia Southern the following season. Clay Helton wanted to do something radical though. He wanted to change Georgia Southern's offense from a historically triple option and run heavy offense to a West Coast air raid style offense. This is something that Georgia Tech had been trying to do for the past few years and it wasn't going very successfully. When Clay Helton took over the Georgia Southern program, they had gone three and nine in the previous season. And in one year under Clay Helton had improved to six and seven with a win over Nebraska and number 25, James Madison as well as a bowl appearance. Georgia Southern under first year head coach Clay Helton would finish fifth in the nation for passing yards. With transfer quarterback Kyle Van Trees, they set the single season passing yard record for the school with 4,247 passing yards. It's safe to say that changing the offense was successful for Clay Helton. And Georgia Southern quarterback Kyle Van Trees has now gone on to sign with the Calgary Stampeders of the Canadian Football League. So far in the 2023 season, Clay Helton and the Georgia Southern Eagles are 6-3 with three more regular season games left to play and back-to-back -back bowl berths already clinched. Helton has already matched last season's win total and it looks like things are improving from last year in Statesboro. Only time will tell where Helton's legacy will end up, but so far it seems that Helton is steering Georgia Southern back to winning and competing for the Sun Belt. How do you think that Clay Helton is going to do in his new job? And do you think that he will be able to crack the top 25 at Georgia Southern? Don't forget to like the video and leave a comment.